Thank you for sharing with me in the service of Holy Communion. For you to follow the service, I will say the words in red, and we can say together the words in black italics. Let us pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our fellow men, in thought and word and deed, in the evil we have done and in the good we have not done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Hear then the word of grace. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let us say the peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Let us say the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him, all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets, we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us say the great prayer of thanksgiving. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, it is indeed right. It is our joy and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You created all things and made us in your own image. When we had fallen into sin, you gave your only Son to be our Saviour. He shared our human nature and died on the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand in glory where he lives forever to pray for us. Through him you have sent your holy and life-giving spirit and made us your people, a royal priesthood, to stand before you to proclaim your glory and celebrate your mighty acts. And so with all the company of heaven, we join in the unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise you, Lord God, King of the universe, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who on the night in which he was betrayed took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Father, as he has commanded us, we do this in remembrance of him. And we ask you to accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we who receive your gifts of bread and wine may share in the body and blood of Christ. Make us one body with him. Accept us as we offer ourselves to be a living sacrifice and bring us with the whole creation to your heavenly kingdom. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be given to you, Almighty Father, from all who dwell on earth and in heaven throughout all ages. Amen. The bread we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one loaf. Lord, we come to your table, trusting in your mercy, and not in any goodness of our own. We are not worthy even to gather up the crumbs under your table, but it is your nature always to have mercy, and on that we depend. So feed us with the body and blood of Jesus Christ your Son that we may forever live in him and he in us. Amen. Draw near with faith. Receive now the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, and his blood, which was shed for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us now eat the bread and drink the wine. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given and shed for you, keep you in eternal life. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith, and be thankful. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in the sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all. Amen. The blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace in the power of the Spirit to live and work to God's praise and glory. Thanks be to God.